Alright, let's take a look at Joseph Morgan, who plays Klaus in The Vampire Diaries. Uh, straight off, we've got what appears to be a male energy in the gaze. Believable looking facial hair. Quite full lips, but on a wide mouth, which is consistent with, I suppose, eyes that seem wider set. Looks like we've got a brow ridge. Fairly, uh large male-sized ear. Don't think we've got a widow's peak, just a kind of hairline that kind of goes around a bit. Looking pretty male. Again, male gaze, this definitely comes across male to me. Looks like he's got a fairly uh, strong facial structure, quite a gap between the nose and mouth. Definitely got a brow ridge here. Mm. Pretty strong jaw. Needs to lay off the lipstick, but you know. Pretty fem feminine looking lips as well, but mm. also quite a believable kind of neck going on here. Trachea, little Adam's apple. Pretty long neck. Yeah, the energy in the eyes is very... It's a very kind of... Um, burning male energy. So... Pronounced cheekbones. Bit of a plumpness to the face. You can see the Adam's apple again. Shoulders looking pretty square across. Body line looking overwhelmingly straight. Mail. Again with the brow ridge, the definitely kind of chiseled male looking facial structure. Neck looking like it's in order as males should be. Length of the brow to the hairline looking accurate. Mm, got the jutting kind of collarbone thing going on. Shoulders looking very broad, I'd say you can fit three um, skull sizes on the width of the shoulders. A bit younger, you know, kind of softer facial appearance, but still, these eyes seem very male, the energy in the eyes seems very male. I think we've got a small clip chin, which is not a trait restricted to men, but is more common on men than on women. Uh, that is definitely a straight back. Uh, shape of the kind of ribcage and torso looking proper too. Definitely seeing the pronounced collarbone. Uh, men usually have a lot more distinct kind of tendons and lines in the neck as well as the trachea and Adam's apple and looks like we're seeing that too. Mm. Looking like uh, this this line along here is looking as it should for a male. Looks like the hips are considerably narrower than shoulders. Seeing defined collarbones here to find stuff going on in the neck. Um, looks like the navel is about the right height for we've got the waist here. I think we're seeing a bit of a Donna spelt there. Structure of the chest looks proper. Female um, musculature. But he's English, so you know this does look like an English guy to me. Uh, legs looking not my leg, not curvy or whatever. Male. Um, again, shoulders looking the right width, face looking pretty strong structure, wider set eyes. Mm. Pretty long looking neck, and the shoulders looking pretty wide. 
hips. You can tell they will go along here and shoulders are wider. Looks like he's pretty lean overall. It looks like we've got a longer ring finger than index. All pretty long fingers overall, but you know. Also, it's the perspective that the hands do look pretty male sized. Pretty male tendony and uh, wider knuckles as well. Again, convincing looking facial hair. Uh, now, if it was a girl, you'd be seeing more curve going on in the hip region and around the waist and just, you know, straight here, straight there. Yeah, I mean, any any one of these shots, he does have a kind of male presence in the eyes. Yeah, I'd say it looks male. And as mentioned, it does have a pretty, pretty um, full lips look to him. But at the same time, the upper lip isn't as full as I think it would be if he was a female of the same genetic descent. So... Um, sloping brow, brow ridge, pretty strong jawline, you can see the Adam's apple. Male kind of behaviour at least, uh, manner of sitting, all that. Talk about Rebecca Holt another time. Again, male digit ratio of the the ring finger looking a bit longer than the index finger. Um, yeah, this facial structure looking convincingly male. And with this shot, you know, it's looking very slight overall. But even with that perspective, the shoulders are definitely wider than the hips. Again, with the digit ratio, index is shorter than the ring. You can tell through this kind of see-through looking thing that got the shape going straight down in a very masculine way. He's always got the digit ratio visible and the index is shorter than the ring. So yeah, another telling shot this shot. Look at these broad shoulders. Can definitely fit three um, head widths on the shoulders. Looks pretty, you know, square and correctly shaped for a man here. Uh, we've got the shape of the torso coming in to where we've got the waist and normal kind of the, the slight uh, curve that male hips have, not anywhere near as curved as female hips are. And See, it's a lot straighter on that side too, so arms seem to hang straight down and um, looks like the wrist here would come to crotch level, so that's accurate for males. Looks like, again, we've got the straight back. Looks like we've got a fair bit of room in the ribcage, as is a male trait. Neck looking pretty thick and also long. Um, you know, facial traits mentioned before, the sloping brow, the strong jaw. Um, again, you now this is convincing facial hair, which, you know, some FTMs can grow, but isn't usually very convincing. Um, the main thing, again, that I always go on is the, the feeling when you look into their eyes. I do feel like this is a, a male gaze. Again, male gaze. Very pronounced cheekbones. Again with these cheekbones. Shoulders wider than the hips. You can see the gap here through 
the arm and the shirt, where you can tell the body line does go straight down in a way that is not possible to attain for a female. Because, you know, maybe they can, uh, maybe they can attempt to, you know, implant or build muscle around the waist to change the shape or, you know, possibly even do some kind of shaving down of bones, but, you know, you can't only do so much to make something smaller than it is, uh, and would run the risk of crippling someone if you were trying to shave down hip bones, so when you see something that looks uh, like a proper lean male body, chances are it is. And I do think that though there are a lot of gender inverted people in the film and media, the music industry, um, I do think there are a few biological males and females, and I think, uh, judging from what I've seen, I do think there are a few more biological males than there are biological females, so um, in a way I'm not really surprised that he seems to be a real male, but let's continue looking. Okay, again, arm length at the correct height for the crotch level, um, longer looking neck, Shoulders don't look incredibly broad in this shot. He is angled away. Yeah, I mean, this this is a guy. There's a bloke, look at him. Straight back again. Sloping brow. Um, this is supposedly one of the, the uh, tranny poses to hush people about the deception. You know, maybe he knows about this deception, or maybe this is just one of the one of the poses that was instructed for a photo shoot because these actors will do a lot of photo shoots, and sometimes the photographer will tell them what to do. Sometimes it'll be a preconceived idea. So, you know, maybe they're all in on it. Maybe some of them are in on it. Maybe they all worship the same kind of uh, god or whatever. But in any case. Looking at the body structure here, again, shoulders wider than the hips. Yep, yeah, facial structure looking strong. The pokey bits in the shoulder that I keep noticing on MTFs and on biological males. Strong collarbones. Yeah. He does have a slightly effeminate look to the face, but at the same time it's masculinized. And I've met guys in real life who were real guys, who had some feminine traits, just like I've met some girls who were real girls with some masculine traits. But, um, when you look at the whole picture overall, you can't let a feature like, oh, he has full lips, oh, he has pretty eyes. You can't let that decide the whole picture, you've got to look at everything. That's so why I take a bit of a long time to go through these things, because I don't want to miss anything. And... While the, uh, the bottom line for me will be that I, I have to look and feel what the energy is when I look at them. You know, I do want to look at everything and not miss any details, so. So yeah, I think uh, Joseph Morgan is a biological male. And that's that.